Can I just shoot some scotch? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yes, you can. Hey, how's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm Gene. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasting. Gene, Thank you. would you like some scotch? Uh-huh. Two. <laughs> for here to go. <laughs> hey, uh, one so, for here, one to go. Oh, my yeah. God. Uh, some Highland Park cast strength awesomeness, Miss Jean. That sounds wonderful. Um, if memory serves, if memory serves, this is three casts. European oak. Oh, Euro I have stuff written down. American oak, sherry oak. I think it's European sherry. I don't remember. It's stuff. Jean, what? First fill, me. European. First fill, European. American oak sherry, and it's American and European sherry. Okay. And then a refill. And a, and a refill. So yeah, yeah, three casts make this. And it, I said, you said, right, Orky. Orkney. Yeah, the, the Orky. Orkney malt. There you go. And there Whatever you go. Whatever the F that is. <laughs> there you go, Gene. Uh, this Highland Park cast strength, this is a 64.1. This is, Gene, a 750 milliliter bottle. And this is release number three. They're on the release number four, which we have not been able to find just yet. But I hear good things. Okay. Gene, what I want to know from you is, mm -hmm. what do you get on the nose? Well, and this is a note that I got the first when we were, were reviewing, not reviewing, but getting the neck pour out. I yep. got the apple cider vinegar. And that's the first thing I'm getting again is the apple cider vinegar. But I remember once I let it open up for a spell, it went away. Let's see if we have the same thing. I have a wonderful nose, just like it's on there in Corky. I had a Ken. phenomenal nose. Did you shake it up? You do one of these things? No, I didn't get. The, what's that thing called where they say you're supposed to get the shaker and lose weight? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, so on that Corky, I had a perfect nose. Perfect nose. Uh, Jean, not so much. And we kept switching glasses, and she's like, "Ah, how did this happen?" Watch. What the heck? I mean, what, what is it with me, Highland? What, what you got against me? Uh, maybe a Highland uh, likes me better. No, but I do Who's remember I just needed a minute or two for the air to get in there, and then that nose was nice. Okay, so you've had dinner at a restaurant, I'm guessing, before. And you know how some people, when they get their plate, they're going to put on salt and pepper, then they eat their food. Some people eat their food and then put on salt and pepper. This is one that needs nothing. You need the no salt chef pepper? has done everything it needs to do and has perfectly blended the sherry notes into the whiskey here. This for me is the perfect balance of sherry with caramel, with green apple, with deliciousness. Okay, here we go, here we go. I am starting to get a little bit of maraschino cherry. I'll give you that. Cherry, and yes. Some little bit of ginger and vanillas coming up in there. Great note. Yeah, strong with ginger, great note. Now I got a milkshake with cherries and chocolate. White chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate. I got dark chocolate and cherries and a milkshake. <sighs> this is a dynamite nose. This nose, maybe, we're in the march right now. I just uh, keep you're watching this later. Or this one. already probably the best nose of the year. Or just keep swirling. Till you or get there. Gene is on average noses. For me, best nose of the year. Ooh, now I got um, some apricot. Yeah, that's a good note. Apricot, yes, that's a great note actually. Ooh, nice. Look at you. Heavy apricot. I got nice. heavy apricot with some cherries. It's changing. Every swirl's changing. Guess swirled up. Swirl. Would you have a swirl? I'm have well, a swirl. I'll tell you. You know what I don't like? Barstown and Heaven Hill, both of their glasses fade. You need to etch it a little bit better here, boys and ladies. I'm having to go in. Have a go in. Um, oh, this for me is now apricot and cherry milkshake on the nose. Woohoo! Hello, What's Scotch. What's going on over there? Oh, it's a, it's a flavored train, and I'm here for it. I'm gonna have to go back in. I was I was exper I was in the moment. I was having a moment. I was experiencing everything. I'm gonna have to go back in to get the articulable notes. Yes, I'm gonna have to go all the way back in. Um, it, it's flavorful. Pack soaks into my tongue, drenches my tongue. It's a rag soaked in scotch and it's drenching all over my tongue. Mm. I took a sip of that milkshake 
and it is uh, the juiciest freaking milk. What? Here's what it is. It's there's so many different fruits. You got your cherry. You got your black cherry. You got your orange. Mm -hmm. They took the ripest, most delicious mm -hmm. looking fruit, and they hand squeezed it into a milkshake of all things, and then um, and then they. It's like they just squeezed it directly mm. into this glass it is it's just so juicy and the finish is very long very long finish this, and delightful and brown sugars mm -hmm. and uh boy this might be the most perfect sherry influence i've had in years um the the word to describe this is delicious the the finish does not stop this is fan freaking tastic what are you doing? Don't steal the bottle. I know where you live. I just need a little bit more. Um, well done Highland Park. Well done Highland Park. Um, I don't want to take another drink yet because I'm here for the notes. But so I'm, I'm going to add water. Um, so for on the mid palate, I'll say mid palate going into the finished ABV had a bit of a sting there, which let's be honest, it's kind of hard to get with a Scotch nowadays, especially a cast strength Scotch. You don't usually get a castor this high in the scotch. That is, you, you, it's, it's like it's got some bourbon notes in there. I got that caramel and the brown sugar and the butter with the ginger that's like fresh ginger and, and fruits and a little bit of blueberry even a little bit. Um, boy, it is just the juiciest of the juices. The tasting notes on the bottle states a wild harmony of honey glazed citrus fruit, um, crushed anise and smoldering heather peat notes. I forgot this is peated. I'm not getting peat at it all. It is peated, it's heather peated. Um, what yes. does heather peated mean? Does it mean you're not going to get any peat on it? Well, heather, heather's, heather's a note. I don't think peat, I don't think heather peat is a type of peat. I think, I think it's oh. just a type of note. But I forgot this is peated because it, now that it tells me it's peated, now I get the peat. Okay. I got the I get the peat instantly on the uncorking, but it's been so long since we've uncorked this, I forgot that's peated. It's just delicious. I I am not getting. I mean, no. for me, what I think of peat is that saltiness and that that smoky saltiness is what I. Ma'am. What I say Ooh. is peat, and I'm not getting any salty smokiness. Well, it's because I added water that I'm getting that now. Oh. Uh, water, well, water brings it out. So the water on my nose, though, just made it more a creamy on the nose and apricotish. Wait till you taste it. The water, I like this better with water. It enhanced and any rough edges it had neat with the fruits made it more round and more ripe. Mm. <sighs> I like it. Mm. I, like, I like it. But this is a great one for someone who's like an intro to peat. This isn't too peaty. This is not a peat bomb. No. This is not a sherry bomb. I'm not it's, peat. it's a perfectly well balanced scotch. If somebody said, "Here, taste this, taste you," I'd be like, "I effing love peat." I don't know what the difference between bourbon and this is, as far as peat goes. And two different countries. I mean, it's scotch and, and whatnots, but I'm not the peat. I'm not. I, I would say, yeah, give me more peat. Here's where I take umbrage with what you said. You said you effing love peat. But yet you will not drink Laphroaig. I said if this, if somebody gave this and said, here, try peat, I would then say, I oh, have to love peat. I got you. I thought you were saying, hey, I have to love peat. Give it to me. No, I'm just saying, I, I, got don't, you. I don't taste peat in this so much that I'd be like, I'm oh, a peat. I would start getting peat shirts and maybe even a tattoo. Love to peat. And then if it Davidson at the bottom of it? Maybe. Pete Davidson, yeah. Maybe I would. Um, yeah, I like it. Um, I, here, here, I would say I like it better on the uncorking, but I know for a fact I'm giving it the same score as the uncorking. 93 for me, Jean. I did a 92. So it went down for you because you were 92. 93 on the uncorking. Well, because I, I don't know how you get the better pours, but I thought, no way am I going to get that <laughs> that first uh, apple cider vinegar. We can no. switch glasses. Nope. Okay. 92. It's a 93 for me. It was a 93 for both of us on the uncorking. That's one of the few that I remember an uncorking score on. Mm -hmm. But Gene, mm -hmm. one of us paid a price for this. Yes, one of us found this beautiful little nugget. This one, was, I'm going to say it's probably you. 
Yeah. Did I get this or did you? I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. I um, found this hidden away on a bottom shelf in a liquor store. Did you now? For ten percent off. Which one? What which store? Uh, one by Jacobs. Douglas? Yeah. Huh. Shout out to Jacobs. Well, J the cool thing about Jacobs, if you're ever in Wichita, it's out at 21st and Mays Road. They have a different liquor license, that, so they can actually sell to restaurants. So they carry more uh, um, whiskeys. Yeah. Anyways, it What'd was uh, eighty-eight dollars. All day. Buy a case. Mm -hmm. Buy I think case. an MSRP is for ninety. Um, Either or. So I don't know what their original price was, but like I said, I got it for ten percent oh. off because it was a what they call their pink stickers. That is just so delicious. Mm-hmm. Well played. Uh, appreciate you doing all those things you're supposed to do to help a YouTube channel grow. Uh, 500 videos and counting. Got some special guests coming on in the next few weeks. In studio, some classic YouTubers. Been on the air for 10 years on YouTube. One of the original Scotch reviewers. Mm -hmm. No spoilers. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, appreciate your subscription to the channel. Thumbs up if you like us. Thumbs down if you don't like me. Gene, do you have anything to add? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm Charlie. And I'm Jean. And I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. Isn't that just nice? Yeah, it's so nice. Mm -hmm. We need to keep hunting for number four. They're not up to five yet, but they got number four out there somewhere. Four. Is there a number three on here? Yeah, right there. Release number three. And they've wrapped in release number four already. And it's out there, Gene. It's out there like a lost child on a milk cart and wait for us, its parents, to find it. 